discuss another type of a uh, graph that is a bipartite graph with network x using python as we discussed different types of the graph in last few videos we discussed how to create the graph um, weighted graph multi graph then other type of the graph we already directed graph undirected graph we already discussed now today we will discuss the concept of the bipartite graph what is a bipartite graph let me see that when we see that we are having the graph and graph containing node and edges so edges are only allowed across a different set of the nodes and they are not allowed within the nodes belonging to the same set let me say we are having the different nodes are available like we are having the different users are there or set of the users are available so like we have we are having the users are here these are the users let me say the other users and we are having different users are available so when we have a different user or set of the users are available then users buy the different set of the items so when we user buy the different set of the items so item is in other like uh, item is one set and user is the second set so we are having the two different set of the nodes are available so when we see that we are having the bipartite graph in in bipartite graph what we have to do in bipartite graph we see that we are having edges are only allowed across the different set of the nodes and they are not allowed within the nodes belonging to the same set user don't have the relationship with the user in the bipartite graph user is having the direct relationship with the nodes the nodes belonging to different sets are also characterized by the particular node type like here we are having one is uh, user second one is the item in the example so for bipartite graph we are having the different uh, as we are noted we are having the different layout are available in network x so bipartite layout that is available in the network dot draw dot layout right so this one is layout is available for the convenient to plot the different nodes conveniently right so we like we say whenever we are having the nodes are there so few nodes user node will be on the one side and the item node will be on the another side so network can be conveniently plotted using the bipartite layout utility okay so how we can implement it so first of all we are having we need this one library like we have to import it from the network x dot draw dot layout import bipartite layout so let's move to the our main section here and we see that we are having we must have to import the network x as in x we already imported import panda as pd for the different type of the frames are there then uh, if you want to import the uh, numpy so to handle the different type of mathematical function like we will use the random mathematic function so for that one num we will use the numpy and matplotlib.pyplot as plt so this one is used for the images now next one we said we i already told you that we are having from network dot draw dot layout import by patai underscore layout this one is used for the community representation of the different set of the nodes now let me say we are having the two different nodes are there one is the user and second one is the x uh, sorry second one is the item so i am using the, for the user i am using uh, just uh, a b c d and e like i for the user i am using user is equal to we said that we are having the set of the nodes are there a then we said that for a user we are having set of nodes are b then c another user we are having the d and e these are the we are having the five different users are available we may have the six or seven in number of the users are there let's we are assuming that we have only five users now next one we said that we are having the item so for item we said we are having the different set of the items are available we said that we are having items are available item id 1 item id 2 item id 3 item id 4 and item id 5 we are having the five different items are available so we are having the two different set of the nodes are available one is a user second one is a item 
So when we define the different set of the nodes available in the graph, so for that one, what we have to do, let me say that we have to create the edge between these nodes. Now how we can create, let me say that user A by the different set of the item like uh, 1, 3, 4, B by the 2, 3, C by like uh, 1 and 2, D by 4, E by 5. Now we are having the two different options that we can represent it over here like edge E is equal to and we can mention it over as a set of the nodes over here and what are the different nodes are available, uh, what are the different edges are there, A1, A2, A3, B1, B4, C1, C2, D1. Now another that we already discussed in the last few videos, now today we will discuss something new. So here we see that we are having different nodes are there, so we are randomly selected from few nodes from the user as well as few nodes from the item for creation of the edge. So what we have to do, we see that we combine both of these uh, lists, we are, we are using the function list and then we are using the random choice. So random choice is available in the numpy function, so np dot random dot choice. So where we are, we have to select it over here, np dot random dot choice. So we have one is here, uh, like from where we have to select it over here, let me say the user. And then in user, we see that we are having the total total number of the edge that we want to create it over here, so like uh, 12, even we see that so 10. And second one, we see that np dot random dot size and that is the item np dot random dot size and this one here we are having next one is the item and number of edge we see that we have a 10 so here we are creating the randomly edge between these two uh, set of the nodes the one set of node is the user, second one is the item, right? One is on the left side, and second one is on the right side. So let's execute this one. Now we here it's combine it over here. Now if you want to display it over here, what is the E? So we can display it over here, set of the E as are there. So E is here. Now when we are having, we are creating the few different type of the as are available. Now what we can do it over here, we can represent though both uh, all of these as in a form of the data frame, like uh, for that one, user may be on the one side as well as item with, um, may be on the another side. So for that one, we have to use the data frame for the representation of the data. So we see that uh, we are using that like yeah, we see that as equal to here we are using the data frame. So data frame is available in the pandas. So pd dot data frame so pd dot data frame and then we have uh, like we said that we are having uh, two different things one is the source and uh, target so we see that we are having two different, one is the source, so source and source we see that uh, they are starting from that is the user and second one we see that we are having the target and that is the second uh, set of the nodes that we see that uh, item. And we set it now. We have to take the values for the we set it for user and item. And where user and item are available, user and item are available in the edge. Now, Oh, uh, actually we didn't start it over here pd.data frame 
source users and target item for the user from a item in each storage. Now let's execute it. Okay, invalid syntax. Let's see that's what's wrong over here. First, we see that's uh, this one, this one, source user target. Okay, uh, item. Source, user and target item okay uh, for user and item in okay put it Edge is equal to PD dot uh, data frame. Force user and target item. Okay. And oh, we are using here as a common that common should not be here. So we see that PD dot data frame, force user, target item, and then for user and item in E. Let like execute it now. So we are having the edges available. If you want to display these edge. So what are the difference uh, in the form of the data frame? Edge. So it will display the list of the edge over here. So here it see that that are randomly generated over here. That now one edge is between the E4, A3, D5, C1, A1. Now A with A we are having A to 3 and A to 1 edge is here. D to 2, E to 5, E to 3, C to 1, D to 2. We can create it over the number of uh, edges. We can uh, like. Previously, we did it over here 10, you can use it over here 12, 12, 13, any number of times you can use it over here. Now, we, next step, we have to use it over here at the graph. So, for the creation of the graph, we say that G is equal to, we already know that one, the network x dot digraph. We are usually want to use it over here digraph. Execute it, so it will say that our dry graph is created. Now in this one dry graph we have to add the different nodes, uh, different edges. So when we have to add the edges, different nodes, so we are, as you see that we are having different set of the nodes are there. So we have to use the bipartite 0 and bipartite 1. So how we can use it over here? So we have first we have to add the nodes. So what we have graph is at g dot, then we select add node from we are having the set of the nodes are there. There we are having set of nodes. First one is here. We are having the user. So I have to use it over here user. And then we see that user is from the by but I zero. By but I equal to zero. Let execute this one. That this one is added or not. So yes, g dot node from user by but I zero. So this one is Added on the one side, one set of the nodes are there. So next one is we are having the items. So we again we have to use it over as g dot add node from uh, add nodes from. So where we have to select set of the nodes is item. And now this for this one we are having the bipartite one. Bipartite is equal to Include it now. We already add the two different nodes having the by but I zero as, as well as the by but I one. Now, next one we have to add the edges. Now, edges are available in this one data frame, right? So, data frame is with, uh, with the name of the edge. So, what we can do it over here, we can use it over here g dot add edge from. from where we are having the edges are available you see that edge, uh, we can use it over here tuple of x and we say for x in we say where we are having the x, x in uh, like we have a edge dot value where we are having the 
x is available so we select x is available in the x dot value so it will help us to add the different type of the x over here in the our crop so it add it over here if you want to display the set of the nodes over here so uh, g dot x so it will display the set of the edge and similarly we can if you want to display the set of the nodes edge is here a to 3 a to 1 c to 1 d to 5 b to 2 e to uh, 4 e to 5 and e to 3 okay now this one is randomly created now next one we have to use the position of this one so for position we can use it over here the layout which one layout that we already discussed it over here that we have to use the bipartite layout in bipartite layout that will automatically select the values like this one where it is like this one we are having one set of the node that is on the left side a second one set of the node that is on the right side so how we can use it everywhere we have to use the position for position we have to use it over here the bipartite layout that we already imported By but I lay out for lake out, and we are having here we are having the graph is here. Our graph is here G, and uh, our like we said, we are having the user. I execute this one. Okay, now we mentioned it over here the position is in the form of the by but I. Now, next step we have to use it over here the if it's a graph so how we can use it every as index dot draw network x index dot draw network x we say that we are having the graph is here with the name of the g now next one node we say that we are having the position so mention as it is position we say that uh, next one we say that uh, with labels and we, if we want to mention it over at the label so we see that her label with label true now next one is we if you want to mention it over here the node size we see that node size we see that so taking and text and node color We see that that should be our red, and we see that uh, edge color. That is the red. We see that uh, edge color. We see that green, fine. And uh, next one, uh, we are having the arrow size. Arrow size, we say that we should be have our arrow size at the 30. Right? So, here we mentioned that we have the graph, its position, label, node size, edge size, all the other things are there. Let's execute this one. Now, it's generate the bipartite graph over here. Now, here we are having nodes that they are D, B, A. So, uh, C, E, A. Now, the things are very. Uh, congested let like, now let like we have to use it over here the display the figures properly so for that one plot dot figure and we are having the figure we have to set the figure size we see that uh, we are having the figure size that is uh, We see that figure size should be here 10 cross 10 cy figure, and then we want to show it over here the properly. Plot show now. Now let's execute it and we see that it is working properly or not. Now this one is working properly. This one is our uh, bipartite graph available over here.
so when we are having the bipartite graph is available now uh, if you want to uh, check this one is uh, bipartite graph or not or any, if we are having any graph is available so that is a bipartite graph or not so here we are having the set of the nodes are available set of the nodes are here a b c d and then that are on the left side and another these are the user and another set of the nodes are there uh, one two three four five that are the set of the items are there that are in other side so we are having the edge between the different set of the nodes right no directly uh, edge between the a to d a to c a to b no edge is available over here so that, this one graph is known as a bipartite graph if you want to know that this one is a bipartite graph or not so what how we can use it over here in x dot is bipartite is is by by but tight and is by but tight which one we have the graph g so if i execute it it is displayed over here the that is our true so this one graph is a by but tight graph we may have the different set of the nodes are there so those are the no nodes have, have no direct relationship with each other but uh, across the different set of sets they have a edge among the different nodes that is known as a by but tight graph thanks for watching the video